Welcome to Nightmare Nexus, where we delve into the chilling and the unexplained. Today we bring you 10 true horror stories from the front lines of the most ordinary place you can imagine, the local gas station. These real tales from attendants remind us that sometimes, the most ordinary places hide the most extraordinary events. Late one night, when I worked the graveyard shift, something happened I still can't explain. I remember it was around 3 a.m. The store was dead quiet, so I just passed time reading a magazine. Then this customer entered the store. He was a completely ordinary looking guy. Just walked straight past me without a nod and headed towards the back of the store. Something about him caught my attention. Maybe it was the way he moved, with purpose yet oddly out of place at that hour. I eyed him through the security mirrors as he made his way down the far aisle and then... He just wasn't there anymore. It was like he vanished into thin air. I walked back to look for myself and, sure enough, there was no shopper there. I reviewed the security footage to see where he went. I rewound the tape to when he entered, watched as he walked down the aisle, and then nothing. There was no footage of him leaving. He just reached the end of an aisle, and that was the last frame he appeared in. The back door, which was always locked from the inside and only accessible with a key I had, was completely undisturbed. I checked every possible corner he could have squeezed into, but there was nothing. No sign of him. No disturbances. Nothing out of place. The store was just as it had been before he entered, except he was nowhere to be found. The whole situation left me uneasy and questioning what I'd seen. Maybe my mind played tricks on me due to the late hour. Still, the footage was unmistakable. I couldn't just imagine that. My manager was just as perplexed. To this day, I still wonder who he was and where he went. I worked the night shift at the local convenience store when it started. Up until that point, it was a completely normal job. That night, though, it began. Every 15 minutes, like clockwork, the phone behind the counter rang. Each time I picked up and gave the customary greeting. However, each time, all that was on the other end of the line was heavy, labored breathing. There was never a voice, just that unsettling rhythmic breath, then a click as the line went dead. It went on for hours. Every call sent chills down my spine. By 2 a.m., I was on edge, jumping at the smallest sounds. The store was empty, the night was unnaturally quiet, and the isolation really started to get to me. I told myself it was probably just a prank, some bored person trying to scare the night clerk. But deep down I felt uneasy. The weight of the silent store pressed down on me. Then, the phone rang again, but this time was different. I hesitated. My hand hovered over the receiver. I braced myself for the breathing. But when I picked up, a voice cut through the silence immediately, clear and unmistakable. Look outside. The tone was calm, but it sent a shiver through me. I hung up slowly and turned toward the front windows. My heart pounded. Across the parking lot, under the dim glow of the street light, the payphone rang. Its harsh electronic sound sliced through the night and echoed off the empty lot. I was alone, and every rational part of me screamed not to go outside. The ringing continued, persistent, invasive, as if it was calling just for me. I stared out into the darkness, frozen, caught between fear and the unexplainable urge to answer it. The outside phone now rang every 15 minutes, and I did not leave the safety of the store to answer it. I still wonder what would have happened had I went outside. Working the late shift at the gas station can mess with your mind but nothing prepared me for what happened one quiet night. I restocked some shelves near the front. I mindlessly arranged items as I glanced occasionally through the large window that faced the deserted street. The street lights cast a soft glow and created long shadows on the floor that faded into the corners of the store. I reached for another product but caught a glimpse of something in the window's reflection. It made my heart skip a beat. A figure stood right behind me. It looked like a tall man. He just stood there silent and still. The hairs on the back of my neck stood, and a cold shiver ran down my spine. I spun around quickly only to find no one there. Just rows of snacks and coolers, humming quietly in the dim light. I turned back to the window. My breath caught in my throat. The reflection was still there, clear as ever. The figure just stood, unmoving. Its features indistinct, but unmistakably human. I rubbed my eyes. I thought sleep deprivation played tricks on me, but when I looked again, it hadn't changed. The figure was just there in the reflection, watching me. I nervously approached the window. 
As I got closer, the figure seemed to become more defined, and I could almost make out the details of its face. But every time I spun around to confront it, I found only empty space. My heart pounded and a sense of dread filled the store. I was alone but not alone, watched by something I couldn't understand. The more I stared at the reflection, the more I could make out another shadow in the far corner, another silhouette. Then, another in the door to the stockroom. But every time I turned, the store was empty. I couldn't shake the feeling of being observed from somewhere just out of sight. Whatever it was, it didn't belong in our world, or it was trapped in a moment that I could only see through the glass. I do my best to ignore the window now. I don't want to know who they were, or what they wanted. I work the night shift at our local gas station. I live in Ohio. Things were as quiet as usual until I noticed something bizarre on the CCTV monitor. It was late, maybe around 2 a.m., and there hadn't been a customer in hours. My eyes were glued to the screen, partly out of boredom and partly because monitoring is part of the job. That's when I saw it, a fuel hose at one of the pumps suddenly lifting by itself. It was as if an invisible hand had grabbed it. At first I thought it was just the wind or maybe a glitch in the video, but the hose stretched out towards what should have been the fuel tank of a car. The nozzle clicked into place just like it would if someone filled up their car. Completely baffled, I kept watching as the digital readout on the pump started running, ticking off gallons as if a large vehicle was being fueled. Yet there was absolutely nothing there. The space where a car or truck should have been was just empty, a void in the chilly night air. The hairs on the back of my neck stood. I scanned the other camera feeds to see if maybe there was some angle, some reflection, or anything that could explain what I was seeing. But there was nothing, just that one pump operating on its own dispensing invisible gas into thin air. After a couple of minutes, the pump nozzle clicked off and the hose slowly lowered back to its place, just as if someone had finished fueling and carefully put it back. I went outside, my heart racing as I approached the eerie pump. The air was cold and still. I smelled the faint scent of gasoline. I checked the readout. It showed a full transaction as if someone had just filled up a large tank, but there was nothing around, no drops on the ground, no sign of any gas except for the normal smell near the pump. I reviewed the footage over and over and tried to make sense of it, but I couldn't deny what I witnessed. Since that night, I've felt uneasy during night shifts. I always half expect to see that pump spring to life again to fuel a ghostly car that shouldn't exist. I used to work at this old gas station on the outskirts of town. This was years ago. There was this elderly man who came by every now and then. He was sort of a fixture around the place, always shuffling in with his weathered face and clothes that seemed a few sizes too big for his frail frame. Each time he visited, he would eventually pull one of us aside with a serious, almost urgent tone. He warned us about a dangerous spirit he claimed haunted the station. According to him, this spirit was behind several unexplained accidents around the property. Things like tools inexplicably flying off shelves or the sudden unexplained failures of the gas pumps that could have caused serious injuries. Things did happen there. Strange things. We never told anyone about them, but he always seemed to just know they happened. At first, we honestly didn't pay much attention. We assumed there were natural reasons for everything. It just sounded like old man tales, spooky stories you half listened to and then forgot. But the more he visited, the more intense his warnings became. He seemed genuinely worried. He always looked over his shoulder. His voice dropped to a whisper as he spoke about the spirit's latest antics. He insisted that this presence meant harm, that it was angered or restless for reasons he couldn't fathom. Then one evening he stopped visiting. It was so abrupt. One day he was there as real and persistent as ever, and then nothing. No more visits, no more warnings, just silence. What was even stranger was that around the same time he stopped showing up, all those weird, unexplained accidents around the station ceased too. No more tools flying off shelves, no more equipment malfunctions. It left us all a bit unnerved. The timing was too coincidental, and we couldn't help but wonder if the old man and the disturbances were more connected than we thought. Maybe he was some kind of guardian trying to warn us, or maybe he had some unresolved business with whatever caused the trouble. Whatever it was, the calm that followed his disappearance was as unsettling as the chaos that preceded it. 
It felt like a chapter had closed, but none of us knew the story. And maybe some stories are better left unfinished. I'll never forget those eerie nights working the late shift at the gas station. My name's Jenna, and it was usually quiet around that time. Which I liked because it gave me a chance to catch up on some reading or just enjoy the peace. But something unsettling began to happen. Something that still sends shivers down my spine when I think about it. It started one night around midnight. I restocked some shelves inside the store. I heard what sounded like muffled screams from the direction of the car wash. It was a chilling, desperate sound that made the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. I paused. I held my breath. I tried to make sense of what I heard. The screams continued and grew in intensity. I quickly made my way to the car wash. The sound guided me in the dark. As I approached the structure, my heart pounded so loudly I barely heard anything else. I reached the entrance and peered inside. I expected the worst. Someone was having a medical emergency, or someone was getting killed. Just as I stepped in, the horrific sounds abruptly stopped. I flicked on the lights and scanned the area, but there was nothing. No one was there. It was just the usual dripping of water and the quiet hum of the machinery. I returned to the store perplexed and a bit shaken. I couldn't shake the feeling something was very wrong. Over the next several nights, at exactly the same time, the same muffled screams would start again. Each time I ran to the car wash, only to hear the screaming stop and see that nothing was out of the ordinary. I tried everything to explain it. I checked for animals that might have been trapped, inspected the machinery for faults that could emit such sounds. I even considered the possibility it was a prank, though the cameras showed no one else around. Every investigation came up empty. The source of the screams remained a mystery, as if the car wash itself held onto a ghostly presence that only emerged in the dead of night. After that pattern began, I lost my affinity for the night shift. The feeling of dread at what might be waiting for me every night was too much. I asked to be switched to days, and thankfully, I never heard those horrifying sounds again. But sometimes, when I drive past that car wash after dark, a chill run through me. I can't help but wonder if the screams were a cry for help that never came. It was a night like any other during my late shift at the gas station. It usually involved the kind of quiet that made even the soft buzz of the fluorescent lights seem loud. I sat behind the counter and restocked the impulse buy section with candy bars. The door chimed open. A strange man walked in, unlike any I'd ever seen before. He was completely drenched in oil, from his greasy hair to his soaked boots, looking like he'd just emerged from a pit. The oil was so thick and black, it almost looked like he was wearing a shiny, dark suit. Can you help me? He asked with a hoarse voice that sounded desperate and out of breath. His wide eyes were filled with a panic that instantly put me on edge. Of course, I replied. I stepped back from the counter as I took in the extent of his condition. Let me grab you a towel. I turned to grab a clean towel from the supply shelf behind me. My mind raced with questions about what could have happened to this guy. Was there an accident nearby? A spill? Something didn't feel right. I turned back with towel in hand, ready to help him clean up at least a bit. He was gone completely vanished. I bolted to the door and flung it open to look outside. The lot was empty. No man, no car driving away, nothing. It was as if he had disappeared into thin air. I returned inside. My eyes scanned the floor for any signs of the oil he was covered in, but there was nothing. No drips, no footprints, no trace that he had ever been there. It was as though the man coated in oil was a ghost, an apparition that vanished as quickly as he appeared. That night shook me more than I like to admit. I wondered about that man, who he was, and what he wanted for years afterward. I still do. Was he a ghost, a figment of my imagination, or something else? The memory of his desperate eyes and the eerie disappearance haunted me for many nights to come. He turned a mundane shift into a night I'll never forget. <sighs> I've worked at this old convenience store for a good few years now. There's one tale that never seems to get old among the staff, the mystery of the woman in white. It all started one night when I worked the graveyard shift by myself. The clock had just struck midnight. 
The air outside was cool and still, and the store was as quiet as it ever gets. That's when I first saw her out of the corner of my eye. A figure floated between the aisles. Her white, long, flowing gown almost seemed to glow under the fluorescent lights. Her hair was long and dark. It cascaded over her shoulders, but her face was obscured looking down as she moved. I was intrigued and a bit startled. I watched quietly from behind the counter as she wandered through the aisles. She seemed to be looking at something on the shelves. Her hands almost touched the items, but never actually made contact. It was surreal, like watching a silent movie play out in front of me. She drifted gracefully with a calmness that was eerie and sad. Each time as she approached the register where the light from the overhead lights were brightest, she slowly faded until she vanished completely. It was always in the exact same spot, just a few feet from where I stood. She never looked up, never acknowledged my presence, and there was never any sign that she interacted with anything in the store. The encounter became a routine occurrence, always at midnight, whenever I was on shift. Strangely, I started to look forward to her appearance. It was both chilling and captivating. I mentioned it to a few co-workers and to my surprise, they already knew. They'd seen her too over the years. Each described the same woman, the same white dress, the same silent wandering, and the same disappearance before reaching the register. Nobody knew who she was or why she appeared. Some said her spirit was tied to the land before the store was ever built. Perhaps she walked a path she once knew in life. Others joked that she just made sure we did our jobs right. A ghostly mystery shopper from beyond. Despite the theories, she remained our unspoken secret. She became a part of the night shift experience that the rest of the world never knew about. She never interacted, just wandered the aisles, lost in a world we could see, but never enter. Watching for the woman in white became a part of my routine, feeling a mix of anticipation and apprehension as midnight approached. Her presence, though silent and ethereal, became a strangely comforting part of those long nights. A reminder that some things in this world simply defy explanation. I've always known there was something off about the convenience store where I work. This is especially after the sun goes down and the late hours creep in. But there's one particular aisle in the store that absolutely gives me the creeps. I don't know why. It's the aisle stocked with old-fashioned candies and some imported snacks. It's tucked away in the far corner of the store. For reasons no one can quite explain, every morning when I come in, I find items from that aisle scattered all over the store. It's like someone or something had a midnight feast and forgot to clean up. The first time, I just thought it was a careless customer or maybe kids messing around. But it started happening regularly, every single night, no matter how carefully we organized the shelves before we closed. I even faced the products perfectly on the shelf. I thought maybe they just fell off the shelves because it was too crowded or unstable. But the next morning, there they were, scattered across the floor again, as though someone had deliberately tossed them aside. What's even stranger are the sounds. When I'm restocking the store or doing inventory at night, I often hear whispers coming from that aisle. It's soft and indistinct, like a hushed conversation. I strain to catch the words. My first instinct is that someone has snuck in or I've left the store radio on by accident. I can never make out anything. The whispers have a mind of their own. They rise and fall with no discernible pattern. It's eerie and unsettling because whenever I muster the courage to investigate, the sounds stop abruptly and the aisle is completely empty with no sign of anyone ever being there. I brought it up to my manager and a few co-workers to see if they noticed anything or if they're pulling an elaborate prank on me. They all deny it but agree that the aisle feels strangely cold and unwelcoming, even during the day. We've joked about setting up a camera in that specific aisle to catch the ghostly customer messing with the merchandise. Deep down, I'm not sure any of us wants to know the truth. We have security cameras in the corners of the store, but it doesn't help at all. At most, we only see items being flung, but not who's doing the flinging. It's become a peculiar part of my routine. I check the aisle, listen for the whispers, and clean up the mysterious mess. I keep telling myself it's just one of those unexplained things, perhaps a quirk of the old building. But whenever I hear those whispers, a chill runs down my spine. It reminds me that some things in this store are beyond normal explanation.
These ten tales of eerie encounters and unexplained mysteries remind us that the night shift at a gas station might just be one of the most unexpectedly terrifying places on Earth. Thank you for listening to these chilling stories. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content like this. Stay safe and keep watching.